the virtual groom room. My name is Jackie Host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And today I'm going to be using Hipster by Nomeo Shaves. I mean Sterling Soap Company. Uh, Nomeo Shaves, if you haven't watched this channel, is possibly the biggest Sterling Soap fan I've ever seen in my life. So go 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 check him out. Uh, great guy, Leroy. This um, so about. Two weeks ago, I made a pretty big order of Sterling. By big, I ordered like four soaps, which for me, I don't normally order that much at once, by the way. I normally order one here, one there. I ordered quite a few. One of them was mentholated. The weather is bipolar at the moment, so I'm not gonna be using a mentholated soap. It's actually quite cold today. I'll get into that later. But Hipster was one of the scents that um, appealed to me. So not because it's Hipster, but because of the scent. So the way I would describe the Hipster scent, what should the hipster scent be? Craft beer and pizza? Craft beer and flannel, maybe? I actually love what they did with the, uh, the, the like, the plan design there. Is it, it's kind of funny. I'm not going to deny that. But no, the scent of this is so clean. It's a very clean, masculine, almost cologne-type scent. It's, it's very, very nice. And, um, it being sterling, it's in a 5.8-ounce tub which is ridiculous value i paid like 13 dollars for it or something our razor of choice today is going to be the stainless steel christopher bradley uh this has the spb plate and a second use gillette nasset and our brush of choice is one of my favorite brushes one of my cheaper brushes actually this was about a hundred dollars and i love the way this brush is just the way it looks the way it performs i, I love it so let's get a load on here and uh we'll get to shaving this absolutely massive tub of soap. So I am of the opinion, and consistently of the opinion, Sterling is exactly what I mean when I say value. Now, for anyone that used Sterling, you know actually how good this stuff is. Um, I am also of the opinion that if all you ever want to use in your life is one soap, and you don't want that one soap to break the bank, Sterling is the contender for that for me, you know? It's giving you what they've done amongst all the kind of reformulation and the formulation and all the chaos. It's Sterling have basically said, we are going to stick to our company ethos, and that's providing a lot of soap and affordable price for our customer base. This cost me like $13. Which, I, I just don't think there's better value than that anywhere, quite honestly. There are products that I think are also quite affordable that are marginally better than Sterling in terms of performance for me. But Sterling is brilliant. You know, it's very easy to work with. It's quick to lather. You just, I just cannot complain. I have, d despite the fact that I use quite a, lux a lot of like quote unquote luxury gear, um, I, I have quite a lot of sterling, because you should, <laughs> you just should, you know. If you're like any of us, any hobbyist, and you like collecting the soap, why sterling for me is one of the top of the list, because it's so affordable and it's such high quality, that it's a no-brainer. So my dad recently started wet shaving, and uh, I recommended him Sterling. I recommended him a lot of these types of brands because he's a price conscious guy, you know? He doesn't want to spend lots of money. And uh, I think Sterling is a remarkable option for that. Not only getting a product that's affordable, but you're getting a very, very good product. And uh, yeah, I love what Sterling do, uh, and I think Sterling are one of the cornerstones of our industry. I think without Sterling, this industry would be a worse place, frankly. So, Nomeo, Leroy, I understand your love for this company. And you'll see in the next five minutes or so how easy this is to work with. So, I'm not going to be careful here with the water. I'm basically just going to go bang. Yeah. 
This is a really nice scent. So for me personally, the only reason why I don't use a lot of sterling is because they have quite a lot of cologne dupes or fruity scents. I'm not a huge fan of the cologne dupes. And for anyone that knows me, I'm not a huge fan of like the really fruity scents either. Um, I know how they do it to keep costs down because they are, you know, they, they can't afford to spend lots and lots of time developing new scents, frankly, because of their margins of their soap. I fully get it. And when they do have soaps, that they make themselves. I think they do a brilliant job. Like as I said, I don't think, I don't think this is a dupe, and I, they've done it themselves, and it's brilliant. It's a lovely scent. You just know you don't need any more than stem. Is what I'm saying. You know, it's remarkable quality for what you pay. And to be honest, period, you know? Like I'm, what, six minutes in? And look at this lather already. It's, it's beautiful, it's dense. It, it's, exactly, it's exactly what I look for. I'm pretty close to being finished here. It just doesn't, it doesn't have that margin for error a lot of those quote unquote luxury soaps have. It just works. Um, very, very much like Katie's Bubbles for me. Different characteristics in the lather. The way I look at Katie's Bubbles is all you need to do with Katie's Bubbles is stare at it and it'll lather itself up. So I'm going to get this again, and we're going to, one last splay. So something funny, yesterday, it was 75 degrees, so I'm um, Fahrenheit, not Celsius, fuck me, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and today, it's 47 and it's snowing. Figure that shit out. So, I have put the slippers back on, feet are getting cold. It's not ideal, guys. It's April in New Mexico is the gateway to summer. Excellent. What a lovely, lovely lather. Well, this, the soap experience for Sterling is some of the best, in my opinion. No frills, no finicky bullshit, it just works, you know? Clean up the hands here. There we go. Smells good. Doesn't taste that nice. Okay. Lathering is done. Really nice lather. Let's uh, actually get to shaving. Carve, B plate. Do you like that set? Like butter. I don't know if I said this in my previous video. I've been a 
enjoying quite a lot of different YouTubers recently. Like always, I would check out my good friend DK and Fine Shave. And Justin, Red Island Shaver. Justin's content is crazy. Um, he is incredibly proficient at shaving with a straight. And he's partially blind. It goes to show but people that say, oh, I can't do it, he can. He doesn't let it hinder him. And I love that sort of thing. DK speaks his mind, very much like myself. Has quite the beard and is the lover of is a, is a massive lover of craft beer. Very nice, okay. So it's funny actually because I used Kaizen yesterday and uh. I would be lying to you if I said I didn't notice a difference in performance between the two. But... For me, that's to be expected. I love the scent of this, though. It's a good performer, very good performer, but... Yeah. Look at all the lamb there. Other for days. It's funny actually because this isn't, as I said in the video, like start the video, this isn't one of my more expensive knots. I just love how it performs. Cross grain here. Very easy. What are you guys letting in the mail? Any uh upcoming nail calls. I am waiting for a Iwasaki Kamasori. I, I've, I've always been intrigued by the standard Kamasori offerings, which are basically, for anyone that doesn't know, are like Japanese straight razors. The process of making these is incredibly cool. If I remember, I'll put something in the uh, video description for you to watch. It's a great video. So it's funny actually because uh, the blade tabs on this, or the lack thereof. I'm one of those people that never really saw a difference. But some people really dislike blade tabs. I mean, frankly, it's each to their own. I don't quite feel the need to cover the blade tabs, if I'm honest. But 
if that's your preference, that's perfectly fine. Enough residual slickness to go over multiple times. Very, very nice. Can't complain. Okay, let's do a tiny cleanup. It's normally under the stool line for me. Awesome. Something else I look forward to as well is hitting that 1000 mark and doing some live shaves. Uh, mainly to the YouTube audience, I think I'm wrong, I've done like Instagram live and stuff, but there's something different to me doing it with the YouTube audience. You guys watch me day in and day out, you know, and I'd rather bring you that content, quite frankly. Wow, look at this. Very nice. Okay, let me uh, rub this in, clean up the gear, and uh, I'll see you guys for the post shave. I will be right back. Hey guys, it's uh, post shave time. I've started washing the whole face with the soap. I started that like probably last week, and honestly, it's so re it's very very refreshing. I've got this bit. <sighs> what a shame. Okay, let's get into the post. So what I'm going to do for the post, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've got two products here. Zingari Man Aftershave Balm. We're gonna have a single squirt of that. Boom. And then Zingari Man Rescue Potion, a single squirt of that. Mix. Wow. That feels incredible. It's a good mix. Okay, let me uh, kind of show you everything I used and uh, I'll let you guys go. So we've got Sterling, hipster. Really, really nice scent. It's very fresh, it's very masculine. Definitely one of the scents that I've bought from Sterling that I think I really, really like, so thumb up for me. Our razor was the Carl Christopher Bradley in stainless steel. This has the wide body top cap. SBB and a second use to like NASA. Our brush was one of my favorite brushes I own. This is the Black Anvil Shaving Madrigal. Uh, this has like a 26 mil silver tip badger knot. And finally our post, one pump of Zingari Aftershave Balm, or the best balm, and one pump of Zingari Men's Rescue Potion. Fantastic shave today, guys. I urge you to check out our latest episode with JR Reyes of Reyes Restores. Very insightful guy, he knows a lot about the hobby, has been around for a very long time too, so check that out. The uh, link for the Razorburn podcast is in the description. Anything else to say? Probably not, apart from have a fantastic week, stay safe, keep indoors, keep being responsible, doing all of the other good stuff, and uh, try some sterling, it's very good. My name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.